so welcome to vlog number 28 we are starting in a place that i've never been to before which is orangeburg south carolina we are grave hunting which that means looking for my ancestors so my third great grandparents are buried somewhere in this huge cemetery that i'm at um my dad is looking for the grave right now usually i would get out but i am having like shin splits or something so i'm just waiting for him to find it basically so um these words we're looking for obviously from the 1800s um yeah so i've never been to orangeburg you can tell this place was popping back in like the 60s and 70s by the amount of motels and just the mid-century architecture that kind of thing it looks very much i'm gonna say more 50s and 60s not 70s but um i'd have to see when the interstates um came through here well um 301 goes through here and that was like a main thing back before 95 was an interstate so yeah um there's my update we're starting on the phone i don't know why i didn't bring my camera i just didn't i still need to edit last week's vlog but i am like on the road right now and i'm like why didn't i edit it yesterday i don't know So guys, we drove by this one time and I was like, I think it's that bush because we could see a bush in the picture. But as you can see, these are like flat graves are not up high like that. So you can't see from the road. I was like, I have a feeling it's this one. But we drive back around. We ended up in the Hebrew cemetery over there. Um, so obviously that wasn't it. And because those graves are in Hebrew. But so we came back around. I was like, I'm going to get out here. I feel like it's this bush. I walked right to it. And sure enough, this is the grave that we were looking for. So these are my third great-grandparents. Jesse Lee Graddock, born on September 22nd, 1867, and died on July 24th, 1940. And then Ella Lorena Graddock, who her um, maiden name was Spigner, but died November 9th, 18, or was born November 9th, 1871, and died on August 7th, 1940. So... I was correct on my vibes, a feeling that this was the right one. And then these just say father and mother. So I was right. <laughs> Yeah, I got a picture. Guys, this guy doesn't believe in me and I just found my grave. So it seems like Bryant was a big name there. Of course, this lady had to come, her own chirping buddy. Hey guys, so it is Monday and I've already filmed a video. I'm out of my cute clothes, of course, because I never vlog when I'm in my cute clothes. <laughs> so I am back to filming on the camera because when I, the first clips were on the phone because when I was editing the video, like I keep my SD card in the whole time I edit my video because I used to have an issue with my old computer like back 10 years ago. Um, of when I'm gonna take the SD card out and that computer just was taking 20 billion years to export my video like it literally took 48 hours not even lying but we are back so I am starting a new book today and this is one of my five star predictions now I'm still in a reading slump kind of mood so I am terrified of going into this um with it being a five star prediction I'm like what if I hate it just because of my mood 
that's terrifying. Um, this was a really anticipated book for me last year and y'all are gonna see it, don't worry, unless if you know my five star prediction video by heart, you know which one is next on the list. But um, I was gonna say more, but I can't remember. Yeah, okay, why I think I'm in a reading slump is because I don't have a set TBR. In July, I go in with no TBR and I don't know what to do with myself. I'm like, I if I don't have a list of things I need to do, I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> but the book that we're starting today is Cloud Cocoon by Anthony Dower. Why did my bookmark just go flying in there? I got this 30% off at Target. I think I got it in a vlog, so like maybe y'all can find that vlog somewhere. So it is a beast. Over 600 pages. I don't know what it's all book. Okay, there's the author's notes. So 622 pages. So I have a long book to read, but I have a the rest of the month to read it and I can bring it into the next month. It's fine if I have to, which I probably will because reading slump life. And then I really want to film this reel for Instagram because I like to film them when I have makeup on, but it's one where you have to know the words that you're saying. And so I literally typed it all out on my iPad. It's which Stranger Things girl's voice suits me best. And I'm like, I have to memorize these lines or I'm gonna look really dumb. It looks so dark at nighttime when I film, but I mean, that makes sense. So I even read in the nine o'clock hour tonight. Don't, um, I got the audiobook for this. So that's why I had the headphones in and I didn't say that like earlier, but yeah, I'm doing the audiobook, but I am following along because I am fascinated. And since it is a five star prediction, I want to have like my full focus on what I'm doing since I'm going to do a video about this and everything. But, um, yeah, we'll talk about the book first and then talk about other things. So I read 10%, which was like 70 pages, maybe 65, 70 pages, no, no, 66, that's what it was. So I read that much. I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit here because I don't like that y'all can see the carpet. So right there. So I read that much and I am liking it. There's no complaints, nothing wrong with it. I think I am liking the chapters that are in the 15th century? 1400s. I, I always get that confused, but 1400s. Um, I'm liking those chapters more, but that's probably just because we've got more of that. So those chapters are more developed than our one chapter that takes place way into the future and then our chapters um, that take place in 2020 which that I want to know what's gonna happen so bad in that like I'm but I'm so curious of how all these stories are going to connect and I can only hope that they all connect because I've read books before where there will be multiple point of views and then it never connects like the characters never meet or anything obviously in this they're all in different time periods I'm like there has to be some connection so um this guy did win the Pulitzer Prize before so like I'm confident that he knows what he's doing and I know that book um yeah I, I thought it was too right there for a minute but yeah I know the book that all the light we cannot see it's like very popular I own it it's very different than this book but it's one that I do want to read at some point now let me get did i tell y'all that i spent like 200 dollars this morning at bath and body works yeah so <laughs> there's a good chance i'll buy even more this lipstick is getting everywhere like it was all like i had lipstick on my stomach and i'm like how does that even happen i had it on my shirt i don't know why <laughs> um so i'm trying to find the email I got but yeah I spent a lot of money at Bath and Body Works so like be sure to stay tuned um because I might do a video on it now when did I get this one email flattering right let's look make y'all a little bit higher like yeah like right there so as so yeah this is the update it says I got this at 401. Delilah's DNA analysis update processing is about to begin, and now it's 
not loading because yeah see it, i'm supposed to be on wi-fi right now as y'all can see not connected don't recommend spectrum wi-fi in the slightest i despise it it never works i've already had to restart it once today and i don't want to restart it again it's not fun it's really in the summertime is when it's at its worst it gets so hot outside and that, that's my dad's theory but i mean i don't really think that's true okay so lab update delilah's sample is in the lab or learn more while you wait so delilah's swab has arrived safely at our lab and we start processing it right now our genomicists are extracting the dna from your pup swab this means delilah's result should be ready in one to three weeks we'll continue to update you throughout the process want to hear more than they have a video so if i can link that okay it's not playing when i click the video but um I did not mean to exit out of one thing I just exited out of. But so first our scientists delve into Delilah's cells to pull out all the doggy DNA they can. This step even includes robots. Then the sample goes through several steps of purification to remove everything else. Next, with the help of some enzymes and a machine called a thermocycler, we amplify your dog's DNA up to a million times. Without this machine, we might have needed a gallon of saliva from Delilah to get the DNA profile, and nobody wants that. Seriously, this machine is amazing. After that comes the genotyping, which we will tell you about in our next email. So that's all that update. We'll see. Oh, but yeah, Delilah's done very well. Like this past weekend, she was amazing. No jumping at all or anything. Like I thought she was regressing with the training that I did with the jumping, but no, she's spot on has been doing fantastic um she did have an accident inside today she went to the bathroom she peed on the carpet but obviously i can clean that up it's not that bad um because accidents do happen my older dog goes to the bathroom inside like every other day that's an exaggeration that is fine um i rather that than the jumping and nipping nipping is obviously because of teething and she is still working and over the weekend she like she did great on that um so the nipping and jumping she's done fantastic um yeah she had a great 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 weekend and today was great and she can um starting on wednesday be able to run around the yard again be outside for an extended amount of time um because that's when the, the doctor said two weeks and that will be the two weeks so the vet not doctor but <laughs> um that is her two weeks up she can go back to being a puppy being energetic running around digging being in the mud all of that so i am super excited that she's gonna get to be doing all the fun stuff again i mean she's still gone to play with toys and all but she hasn't been able to you know run dig get in water and mud and all of that because she is a water dog so she loves being in water mud dirt <laughs> so i can't wait um because that's seeing her happy will make me happy so um yeah, see you tomorrow. Hey guys, so we are about to get into reading for the day. Um, and then I'm going to edit after that. So just so far today, I've just done the basics, walk the dogs, skincare. I meant to let my hair down. I always forget to let my hair down on Tuesdays because it's like the first day where, um, because on Monday I was to do my skincare routine, then put on makeup and then film a video and obviously I do my hair. So when I don't do my hair, I forget to take it out because I just pin it back so I don't get all the lotion and all of that in my hair because that's not fun to get into your hair but yeah we will be starting on page 66 today um we're definitely gonna get more reading done today than we did yesterday as we are reading in the three o'clock hour when on mondays i don't read in the three o'clock hour because that is when i film or at least try to film so that is the plan again i'm liking this book nothing wrong with it well i just realized the blue on here is a book if you look at it kind of like from that angle 
and then the city is around it. I thought, I don't know what I thought it was, but I'm just realizing that and I've had this book for like a year. See, I, you, you learn stuff every day. Yeah, I started watching a video of part two of the Habsburgs and how incest they were, I don't know, um, about their family tree and I watched the one on the Spanish side last night and then the one on the Austrian side released in today, which I didn't know that it was coming out today, so I'm glad I watched it back to back like that. But yeah, so I had to stop that to read. So I'm just gonna read for the next hour and then I'm going to go to my local Mexican restaurant and yeah, that's my plan for the day. I read 6% just then, so I'm at 16% on page 105. And I think we know why this guy is doing what he did in the first chapter. Or Seymour, I don't know if it was the first chapter, but early on. So that was all in Idaho. Those chapters range in literally from World War One to the mid-2000s. Yeah. So, um... Me not remembering. Oh, um, I think there's autism representation. It hasn't explicitly said, but, um, well, it said the counselor or somebody was somebody at the school has sensory processing disorder or ADD. So, I don't know. I think it sounds like autism, but I can't diagnose people, especially fictional people. So, there is representation for that kind of thing. Um, which is nice to see in books. So I'm gonna um, see if my friend, one of my friends who um, has autism to see um, what they know about this book or see if they might be interested in this book. I think she might be. So yeah, I'm gonna go order my food now. With the reading today, I got to page 177, which is 28%. Really, really enjoying it. Again, I wanna know how all these stories are going to connect. But I do find it interesting how the main story, the like Cloud Kukulan story, is how it is different in each time period that we're in. And obviously that makes sense with myths and legends. Things change with time of how it's translated and all of that. So I think that's very interesting. There is where I'm at. So I read over 100 pages today. I'm not going to pick up Outlander since I read over 100 pages in here. I'm being very lenient on myself because I don't want to go back to being in a reading slump. So I'm just gradually reading more each day. So there's my update. I'm going to go get in the bath and have a relax. And happy Wednesday. We are about to get into reading. Just realizing I don't have my book. It's over there. But I think it's page 177 that we are starting on. So it is currently 314. We will be going to Target after I get done reading. They finally have the earwax removal stuff in stock. There has been a shortage. But the thing is, I literally bought some on Amazon last night. So I'm going to go ahead and buy some at Target today and attempt to do it today. Early start. Because there are two ways you can do this. So there's the way the box tells you. And a lot of people were like, that did nothing for them. And then there's, um, if you go to the Amazon reviews, like the top two reviews are like the recommended way of where people have actually had stuff come out. You basically just like the stuff sit in your ear for a longer amount of time than the box says. So I'm going with this first box that I'm buying today, I'm going to attempt to do what the box says. And if that doesn't work, when I get my Amazon one, I'm gonna do like what the Amazon review said. So random updates, but yeah, there's, I plan to buy a lot Target today. I've seen videos of the Target dollar spot with a lot of fall stuff in it. And I don't know if my Target's gonna have that, but hopefully they do because fall for like a dollar. This work. You all are sitting on my laptop. <laughs> um, so I'm doing my Target haul because I did get quite a few things. So mouthwash, not excited. I buy mouthwash so much. I got this little pumpkin for one dollar. The tag came off when I was scanning it, but one dollar. Then I got this sign that says Autumn Leaves and Pumpkins Please, and this was three dollars. These are all from the dollar spot. And then this sign also is $3 and it says fall is my favorite. This one I knew I wanted. They didn't have the pillows at my Target yet or the towels. So I just got the signs. I didn't intend to get this one, but I knew I really wanted this one. And then I'm like, pumpkin, I'm buying. Like if there's pumpkins, I'm buying them. I saw little turkeys too. I saw a lot of stuff, but I just did not have 
enough hands. I only had hands to carry all of this because I told my dad in the car to wait there so I could put it in the cart and he didn't listen. So we know I have been wanting to read books from my like teen tween years i don't know what year this came out and they finally had the first dirt diaries book they just haven't had the first one and now they finally had it this is one that i want to reread so yeah what year did this was it published 2009 so i was 10 so yeah tween was the right thing then the um dollar spot finally had this beauty organizer for a flip up the lid with mirror and place in plastic slot. Three interior compartments. So this was five dollars. And then they finally had the earwax removal stuff. I've been needing this like crazy. There's been a shortage where it even goes out of stock on Amazon. So I was finally able to get this. And then my vitamin C serum. I literally only quashed this half of my face today because I ran out of serum so had to get some of that but that's everything I got at Target so like the fall stuff I'm just going to keep in storage for right now and it won't go up until um September 1st depending what I don't know what day of the month that is but that's when I'm switching my summer decor for my fall decor because that is the meteorological start of um fall but in the reading i got to page 215 which is 34 percent we've been with our idaho characters and our future characters and the future character part just made me be like whoa like the characters are shook too but like still just thinking about being on a spaceship going from earth to the what will be the next earth that's kind of scary if you think about it like i don't like the idea of it like I'm just fine here even if it all goes to waste. Oh yeah, so when I was reading, I heard like a big boom and I was like, oh gosh, what was that? Like it sounded like a dumpster being dropped. And then like two minutes later, because I live right next to a fire station, um, I heard sirens. So I was like, I don't know if the two and two were connected or what. And then we drove by the middle school and there was a blown up car, like, it looks like when you blow up cars in Fortnite, look just like that. So I'm assuming a car blew up. How does that happen? I do not know. Well, like I know ways it could happen, but like I don't think those ways like on Narcos would happen here. But I mean, you never know, but I've never seen or heard something like that before. So, you know, interesting, but I have all this loot in my bed now. I need to go put it away and change um, and to comfy clothes. There's an Apache for you. A black hawk flew by earlier. There are dogs playing in the background if y'all hear that. But Apache. I was saying Apache earlier. I'm like, did I turn British? But guys, I ordered some stuff. Oh, oh hold on, hold on. All right, so I go outside bet uh, between chapters, and as y'all saw, there was an Apache, and um, but I was talking about how I ordered from Walmart, so I placed an order at like 1 a.m. last night, because I saw, I have this, been wanting this pizza pasta thing that I used to have as a kid, and I've not been able to find it in like 10 years, but Walmart has it, so I ordered it thinking that it would come in like the mail, because it said, um like two days or something and literally a woman came to my door and delivered it <laughs> and so that is how i got this pasta but um that's not I, like it came just in time for dinner like i eat dinner in 30 minutes but i'm not gonna eat that tonight because since i had other plans um because i didn't think i would be here till like thursday thursday or friday so i'm probably gonna eat that tomorrow but really happy about that so i think the rest of the order because only two of them came um will come in the mail because I had like a longer delivery time or whatever but I thought that was coming in the mail and it didn't but yeah Delilah was jumping all over me and I'm like if you're gonna be behaving like that I'm going in so like she wasn't actually like jumping on me like y'all saw but she was like in the chair wanting to lick all over my face which there's nothing wrong with that but if I'm like that's enough like stop doing it no means no she didn't listen so i came in but i hear her out there on the deck yeah today is her day where um she's had her two weeks um 
post-op or whatever, I guess. I don't know. So she's getting to run around, be in the mud, be in water, all of that. So, and I'm wondering, Mike Pence is in town. Like, we're not going to get into what all that, like, all of that. But he's here. And I'm wondering if that may be why the helicopters are here. Would they be here for that? I don't remember if they were here when Trump was here. Maybe. I don't know. I know when Trump was here, planes had to fly back like they couldn't land, but his event was like at the airport, but there was a plane coming in, um, commercial jet coming in for landing, so like hopefully they'll let them land. I don't know, but yeah, I'm like against what Mike Pence is talking about and against him in general, but you know. Um, so I'm gonna get back into reading. I'm gonna read half a chapter now and then read the other half at nine. But I did want to finish what I was saying when I was outside. I'm at 46% now. And honestly, chapter 10 was weird. Just with the format and all. Sorry. Um, yeah, so, but the perfect way to describe this book is history, time, and stories. That's not like in any order. I may change when I talk about it later in vlogs. But those are our main subjects here, ideas here super fascinating to think about so there is all for wednesday it's 9 40 so i'm like 10 minutes past my bath so i'm like do i get it i think i will and just not do my skincare routine which is bad but i like to be out of there before 10 so you know hey guys and happy thursday so we have got our july unplugged book box so we're gonna open it up i'm in this clip on my iphone because i know that it's gonna be a long clip so here we go so tell your story is the theme for adult fiction for July 2022. This is a spoiler card. We'll look at it after. So we have something big right here. Oh, it looks like it's a pillowcase. This would be a really nice one. Or no, it's a tote bag. Um, this something smells really good. This would be really nice for spring. Um, and I was going to set up for a pillowcase, but that. It's a nice little tote bag. So then we have the Adult Fiction Tea Party Collection, Tea Set 2, Summertime with Achilles and Patroclus. So Song of Achilles themed, which I haven't read, but I mean, they've been around forever, so it doesn't technically have to be that. I get to escape when you use one hand. So here it is. There they are when they were kids. I'm assuming they look young. <laughs> and then the plates. Our saucer, I don't know. And it says, I am made of memories. Oh, that's a great quote. I'm assuming it came from the Song of Achilles. That quote did. So I'm going to put it, yeah, all my stuff I've been working over here. So let's throw that all over there. So this is really catching my eye. So this is what you read will taste so bad at times you'll want to spit it out. Natural, pure, honest, verity, lake water, the woods, dusty manuscripts. Okay, so this is hand and body lotion. And yeah, smells really good. So if it's Verity by Colleen Hoover, I like despise Colleen Hoover, not really, but I feel like all her books seem really toxic. And I see them on all the basic people, who, you know, normies who aren't real readers. <laughs> yeah. So what is this? This I think this is some kind of a tea, a tea bag holder. Perch your squirrel onto your favorite. So I don't drink tea that comes in bags, but if you do, that's nice for you. I don't know why they send so much tea stuff. Like I'm not a tea drinker. Oh, this is what I actually smell. But Sherlock's amethyst. So this is Burramont Sandalwood Mysteries Bath Bomb. Uh, what else do we have here? The Fiction Bath Co. Bath Bomb and Essential Oils. The original item had to be used in the June box. Okay, don't really care. <laughs> so the Southern Book Club's Guide to Vampire Repellent. And this is an, a rosemary essential oil. So... I don't know what rosemary is good for, but I do use essential oils. So then we have, it looks like a lip balm. Yep, from Hirana. Deathless Waters and Powers. So now we have our book. 
Here's the back. So let's flip it over together. The Woman in the Library by Soleria Gentil. So in every person's story, there is something to hide. And if y'all want to pause. Interesting. Sounds like a thriller. And then we have this little postcard from the author. And then the autograph. Oh, that's such a cool one. Since it's like about a library. And this looks like a library um, little thing that goes in library books. So where is that spoiler card? Now to find out what all of this stuff is. Oh, and the theme next month is All of Us Haunted. I understand August is a spooky season. So we had the Patroclus thing is Song of Achilles. Then the Body Mist is City of Dusk. Then, yeah, the one thing was um, Colin Hoover inspired. Then we had the Tale of the Temple of Piranha, which is from the Jasmine Throne. It's the lip balm. Then the Book Garden Beach Tote, and then just a tea bag holder. So there's all that. Hey guys, so I already told y'all that it's Thursday. We opened that package. I'm gonna have to do more research on that book. I'm kind of fascinated because it's one that I haven't heard of, and I think it sounds like a thriller, but you never know. So I'm definitely gonna have to look when I put it on Goodreads, but we did get a lot of other packages. We got my Bath and Body Works Halloween package, but I'm gonna do a whole separate video with that because it's very exciting, very happy. I've got all this fall stuff this week, super pumped about that. And then um, I got pictures that I got developed, got here today from Snapfish, is who I think I used this time because the one I usually use was glitching out big time and their customer service was no help. They kept telling me things to do and none of it worked, so I had to go to a different app. But we are about to get into reading, starting on page, I think 289. Is it two? Yeah, 289. So we left off on a cliffhanger last night. So I am kind of scared of what's going to be happening. I'm not scared. I'm excited. I'm anticipating it. But it's like, this could go really bad. It could go really good. Who knows what's going to happen? So this book was published in 2021. So it's interesting to have um, a plot line in 2020 and then one in the future because this is a future Assuming after the pandemic has happened, I don't know what the pandemic is going to happen in the book. Can't really tell yet, but I would think so. And then we have Constantinople back in the day. All of that. As I told you all, history, time, and stories. I mean, those are like the most important things, right? But that is the main, those are the main themes here in this book. So I'm going to get into reading. Um, yeah, super excited. Man, I feel emotional after the reading today. It's nine something o'clock i got to page 262 362 yeah 361 so that's where i got not sure what percent because my phone's charging but yeah so we are going to end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed as always comment rate and subscribe and don't forget to ring that notification bell to be notified when all my videos go live i'll see you in the next one bye